We hope you enjoyed the Chasing Sunspots lab. Let's take a look at some of the solar properties that you modeled in the lab. We'll start with sunspots. Sunspots are electromagnetic storms that swirl through the hot gases near the sun's surface. They're slightly cooler than the rest of the star's mass, so they appear darker in color when observed from the Earth. Sunspots move across the surface of the sun by expanding and contracting and can be as large as 50,000 miles, which is large enough to see from the Earth without a telescope. Since the sun is not a solid mass, not all parts of the sun rotate at the same rate. The sun's rate of rotation changes based on the sun's latitude. Near the equator, it rotates once every 25 days, while near the poles, it rotates once every 36 days. The sun's structure varies based on location. It has many different layers, all made up of gases. The densities of the layers are high in the center and very low in the corona, which is the outermost layer of the sun. The temperature of the sun is about 15 million Kelvin in the core and 6,000 Kelvin in the photosphere. However, it rises back up to 2 million Kelvin in the corona. The sun's structure is divided into seven regions. The core, the radiation zone, the convection zone, the chromospheres, the transition region, the photosphere, and the corona. A solar flare is a sudden explosion that occurs at the surface of the sun. The explosion is so large that the energy can be compared to that of tens of millions of atomic bombs. Most solar flares occur around the sun's sunspots as a result of powerful magnetic fields entering the corona. Similar to solar flares are solar prominences. Prominences are arcs of gas that erupt from the sun's surface. The sun's powerful magnetic fields can hold the prominences above its surface, but at some point the prominences explode, releasing vast amounts of solar gases into space. Thanks for watching. We hope that this lab and video have helped you grasp some of the fundamental properties associated with our sun. Next time you hear about a solar flare or other solar activity, remember what you've learned and researched to see if it will have a significant effect on us on Earth.